Being bisexual can be really hard if people don't understand who you are. But you don't owe anyone an explanation. Hello sexy people, what is good? My name is Drew and the only acceptance you need is from yourself. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a safe space where we talk everything to do with sexual empowerment, how to love yourself as a bisexual, and generally just bring those high vibrational loving yourself vibes. So please stick around and subscribe to my YouTube channel and yeah, we'll get right in to the video i'm super super excited to film today's video it is a video that i've wanted to do for a really long time and it's a collaboration because over on instagram on my account at drew wiley and also come curious at come curious i asked everyone to send me in questions about bisexuality and loving yourself so throughout the course of this video I'm going to be answering your questions about being bisexual. Oh baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman go mad. We need energy today. I'm going to vlog my day and throughout my day, I'm just going to come on and answer a few of your questions and hang out and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> First question, when did you finally come to a realization that you are bisexual? What led to that finding? Um, that's a really good question. I've never really passed as a straight person, so I've been sort of asked if I was gay before I even really knew what the word gay meant. So from the age of like 10 or 11, people used to call me gay. Um, I think that definitely shaped how I viewed my sexuality. I wouldn't say forced me to experiment, but it definitely kind of put planted a seed in my head that my sexuality wasn't normal and I wasn't like straight, I guess. So yeah, I definitely repressed myself a lot as a teenager and didn't really own the bisexual label. It took me a long time of repressing my sexuality and not actually acknowledging that there was different sides to my sexuality until one day I thought, you know what? The only acceptance you need is from yourself. I need to start loving and appreciating my masculine and my feminine side in order to be my fullest, most powerful self. How do you navigate gay people not thinking you're gay enough to date them? That's a very interesting question. I must admit, I don't feel like I have really encountered that. I definitely, at points, have felt maybe slightly fetishized by certain gay people that I have encountered. And it can be like a hot fantasy for someone to turn someone gay. But really that isn't right because I'm 100% bisexual all of the time. So if I'm with a guy, I'm still bisexual. And if I'm with a girl, I'm still bisexual. So the way I kind of navigate that is to just remain in my power, remain validated within myself as a bisexual man, rather than trying to conform to stereotypes of feeling more validated when I'm with women because then I'm straight or, you know, playing some person's fantasy because I'm going gay for someone like it doesn't really make sense being bisexual can be really hard if people don't understand who you are but you don't owe anyone an explanation strap on with a woman yes slash no any previous experience and any tips for willing beginners oh my god one of my biggest fantasies is actually to use a strap on, to have a strap on used on me. And I really hope in 2021, this fantasy 
is fulfilled? I would say tips for willing beginners. I would say be confident. Don't be afraid to get there. Foreplay is extremely important. Definitely ease them in with fingers and like licking. I'd say eat the guy out and kind of take it really slowly and then work up to introducing the strap on because obviously that's quite a lot. Um, just in general tips, regardless of gender, regardless of sexuality, I'd say foreplay for sure. Make sure that there's tongues involved, make sure that there's fingers involved and just really ease into it and enjoy it. If you are the person with the strap, I would say just be confident and have fun. You don't have to do anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. So just take it slowly, enjoy that feeling and that power that comes with penetration. And yeah, have fun and don't worry too much. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna do some skincare and then we are gonna get out into the sun. I'm so excited. Pat, pat, pat. Um, right, let's go. Next question is, do you believe in open relationship? It's, it's a heterosexual concept, monogamy, and I feel that I am definitely interested in being in an open relationship. I I had a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Imagine all the fun that I could have. Really, it's all about communication and just understanding what your love language is. I think sexuality is expression and the fact that I could be expressing my sexuality with more than one person, I think that's a beautiful thing. So yeah, I'm into it. Okay, I can literally see the sun going behind the houses, so we've really got to get going. Um, I'm just looking in my moisture. Oh my god, I put well too much cream on it. If you put it, if you've got too much moisturiser on, just grab it from your face and put it all over your body. <laughs> I wish the sun didn't set so early. Let's just go! But it is extremely cold outside. <laughs> Wow, it's so nice here. I walked quite a bit onto muddy fields for this view. And you know what? I go above and beyond for this channel. I'm going above and beyond for you because I want you to know how beautiful life is being a bisexual. This is such a nice location, hey, hey. Okay, next question. Common misconceptions of bi men. Um, the biggest misconception and perhaps the most harmful misconception is that bi men are actually gay men that haven't come out as being gay yet. The reason why that is such an insult is because it invalidates the bisexuality of the person, you know? Having attraction towards men, having attraction towards women, being sexually fluid and open about it isn't for you to then put that person in a box and tell them what their sexuality is. But it's either that they don't exist or that they're undesirable. And really, I just say, brown, 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 brown. Bi boys stay winning. I love being in touch with my feminine side. I love that I've always, throughout my whole life, been able to really get along with women. Being in touch with your feminine side allows you to be more expressive, it allows you to be more open. And then combining that with kind of a masculine side of your uh, sexuality where you're a bit assertive and you're a bit dominant, honestly, it's a winning combination. And I think if people do have an issue with that, it's probably because they themselves are insecure. But to that I say, fuck gender norms and allow people to be who they are. What were you like at school? Did you feel safe to express yourself there? I don't have the most amazing memories of school, I'm not gonna lie to you. For me, school was a place where I couldn't really be myself. I just thought, you know what? I'm getting bullied for being gay. 
let me get bullied for being an emo instead. I guess when I think of school, I just think of my sexuality being a topic of conversation and people constantly asking me if I was gay or making fun of me, assuming, assuming that I'm gay. And I think that really was the time where I took being gay as being an insult because my sexuality made my life difficult and I went through a lot of mental health problems at school, things that I didn't really address until my early 20s. Um, I used to self-harm and I really wanted to be a different version of myself, a version of myself that was more confident, a version of myself that was more straight and I tried really hard to repress my sexuality and looking back you know if i could see my 14 year old self now i would tell myself to keep expressing who i am keep exploring don't listen to what other people say about you because only you know what your narrative is and your sexuality is a beautiful gift and it's very powerful and also being gay isn't an insult at all so yeah <laughs> I'm so glad you're feeling liberated in who you are. Thank, what do you think has been your high point and your low point? Really, really appreciate that, Hasna. I love you so much. <laughs> and my high point is um, taking part in the Paul Nade Bear documentary where for the first time I actually came out on TV, um, which was, I mean, if you're gonna come out, come out on TV, do you know what I mean? And that was the first time that I felt really liberated and actually proud to be a bisexual man. I felt such an enormous amount of pride and actually started to really love myself from then on. Um, in regards to my low point, I think, you know, I say I've definitely had spouts of depression and really hard times with my mental health and having such a bad relationship with myself growing up makes me realize now that the most important relationship you have is with yourself and if I didn't go through all those things then I wouldn't be where I am today so we move <laughs> So here I am, next day, with answering the questions that I didn't get to answer from yesterday. I've also got, because I thought, what can I do that's a bit interesting? And I just realised I have a face pack that my auntie gave me. Okay, let's get through these questions. Oh, 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 okay. I still question myself, am I really bi? I might be straight or gay only, is that okay? That is 100% fine. You know, absolutely fine. I think the less we put labels on our sexuality, the better. Even if we're straight, you know, you never know. You never know. What if you meet that dream person who doesn't happen to have the same expression of gender that you've had before? The only thing that I would say is that you are perfect. So your sexuality doesn't need to change. The relationship with yourself does. So if you are questioning yourself and that questioning turns into you being horrible to yourself, that's a good moment to think actually no, and then validate yourself with I'm perfect, I'm beautiful, my sexuality is a unique and beautiful expression. And yeah, I think coming from a place of love, the questioning will kind of disappear. If two guys get together, do the more masculine always give during sex? Is, is it discussed first? Um, no, simple answer. No, that is really not true. You can get feminine bottoms, you can get masculine bottoms, you can get feminine tops, you can get masculine tops. It literally completely depends on the person. Kind of just pick up on that vibe. I'm kind of open for both to be a top or a bottom. So I'm kind of just open to the energy and how it kind of lands. But I think you kind of pick up a vibe and then when it comes to it, someone's getting dicked down. <laughs> I was curious, but since I've tried it, I just don't want it. Am I straight? I'm a man, by the way. 
I mean, yeah. I think, yeah, if you're, if you're not enjoying it, first of all, that's amazing that you tried it. I think that's really, really cool. And I think if more people knew about other guys trying sex with the same sex, there would be a much less stigma surrounding coming out as bi or being bi or being having attraction towards men. Yeah, I think it's completely natural and cool that you tried it. And yeah, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. You might only date women for the rest of your life and then randomly one day a guy could come into your life that you like or maybe not maybe you're just into women and that's completely fine <laughs> this video is going good i mean it's quite long but it's going good i like this question if you are with one gender don't you always miss a little bit the other one there's definitely things that i get from men that I don't always get from women and there's definitely things I get from women that I don't really get from men. I've always found to be very like emotionally supported by women, whereas men are more emotionally absent. And there's like a raw sexiness like, oh, this is naughty when I'm with a guy. And with a girl, it's more of like, a, I wanna like love you and protect you kind of vibe. But that being said, Obviously with guys, there's still that I want to love and protect you and with women, there's still that um, sexiness. Best case I think is to be in an open relationship so I'm not missing out. Get the London juice. Is it common to come across gay people who are rude to you for being bi? Um, no, it's not common. I've not really encountered that to be honest um i think ultimately we are all queer people and we should be uplifting and loving each other oh my god this question's amazing i love this question how do you deal with bi erasure when you're in a monogamous relationship amazing question i love that and this is just from my personal experience and i'm sure that the next the next people that i date i won't have this experience with but i feel a bit closed off I'm reserved with my sexuality when I'm in a partnership with a woman, particularly a straight woman, because I feel like there's things that I could say or want that she wouldn't necessarily want to do. This can definitely lead to bi erasure, where you don't feel as in touch with your sexuality, your bisexuality, when you're with a straight person. But I think it's important to be with someone that allows you to fully express every shade of your sexuality. But as a bisexual, you deserve respect for your sexuality. And there's no place for bi erasure anywhere. <laughs> How do I, as a bisexual, distinguish my attraction to someone as romantic, sexual or platonic? Yes, Amelia, this question is amazing. It's hard. I think that's one of the hardest things about being bisexual. When I didn't have as many male kind of friends in my life and male influences, I would mistake male or male affection as potentially being romantic. But I realised actually no, like interaction between guys is really like normal and nice and it can just be on a platonic level. See what the vibe is further on and I think when you re when it's like more feelings of care like you want to spend more time with that person that's when it could potentially be romantic but I love the openness that comes from being queer like I'll sometimes just send nudes to like my gay like friend that I really kind of like would I would sleep with him but you know it's just a bit like a hey kind of vibe whereas I wouldn't necessarily do that to um straight people really Okay, so let me do the face mask then. This is the dead witch. <laughs> this is the dead witch face mask. <laughs> so I'm doing the dead witch face mask. This is meant to give you porcelain demonic skin. I wanted a mirror, but I don't need a mirror because I've got my camera, amazing. Does it count if I'm bi but haven't been with a girl? Yeah, it definitely, definitely counts because only you know your sexuality and if you haven't experimented or tried anything yet, then yeah. I mean, I would say you don't have to put a label on it, but if you feel really strongly, then you do you, honey. I'm liking this green. What made the best head you've ever received? Shall I tag the person who gave me the best head? A joint first place. 
between someone that I met in Spain and someone that I went to uni with. It was really good. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. Your female and male crush, female crush, uh, Alexa Demi. I love you, Alexa Demi. Mahmoud, Mahmoud, the Italian. Uh, Alexa Demi and Mahmoud. Hey, uh, how did you know you were bi? I'm questioning and I don't know how I could know. I had an attraction towards men and I had attraction towards women. But when I stopped putting myself in a box, I realized that I just really had a attraction towards dominance and submissiveness and really and truthfully you can be dominant and submissive with both men and women so i think that's when i started to question and the more i allowed myself to explore and feel good about it the more i kind of realized that actually i did like all type all expressions of gender and i wasn't just limited to finding one gender attractive i actually felt attraction all over the shop, really, babe. Um, so, yeah. How do you deal with mask femme obligations in relationships? Example, being more mask with women. To be honest, I just embrace it. Like, if I'm dating a girl or I'm in that romantic setting with a girl, I am just more, you know, that boyfriend, the guy that's there. I still am bisexual. I'm still looking at the men, like... Um, <laughs> but ultimately, you know, and then when I'm with a guy, I can take on maybe a bit more of a like, can you look after me sort of role. So I just embrace the fluidity of life because fluidity sets you free. Biphobia stories, obviously the classic, you know, I like my guys to be manly. To be honest, all the people that are saying shit, it's usually straight women, like most of the time, straight women. And they would be like, oh, but you know, he's, you know, oh, I couldn't find him attractive because, you know. And it's like, why can't you find someone that was bisexual attractive? Like in actual fact, why can't you find gay people attractive? It doesn't stop them from being attractive. God, this is actually low-key burning my face. But it's fine. <laughs> How do you deal with constant slander that bisexual men face? I came out and need support. Ultimately, I just believe in myself and I just look to myself for that sense of power and that sense of validation. I don't need to look at another male's experience of masculinity and sexuality and then question and feel bad about my own. Um, so anything that anyone says, just, yeah. In the words of Jinx Monsoon, water off a duck's back. <laughs> yeah, it just, it just goes past me. I don't absorb that. What bisexual stereotype annoys you most? Oh, um, oh, oh my God. Gay and hairy on Reddit invited me to chat. Bisexual stereotype annoys you the most, that we don't exist. I think that's a stereotype that's quite harmful. Um, <laughs> that we're not like manly or we can't be deemed as attractive because we're gay. I think those two things, <clears throat> put them in the bin. Oh, is it common for girls to watch guy on guy porn? First of all, from my point of view, if a girl told me that they liked guy on guy porn, oh my god that would turn me on so much because then i'd start thinking about all the fun we could have in a male male female threesome and i have met a few women that do enjoy that really and truthfully gay porn for meh for women is basically the same as what lesbian porn is for men like it's two men so i totally get why that's really really hot and yeah, it is normal. I think if we all knew the porn that everyone would like, no one would feel judgmental towards themselves because they'd realise that we're all the same. How do, can you talk about LGBT gatekeeping? So I had to actually Google what LGBT gatekeeping was so I could be informed. Apparently you're not LGBT or queer if you're bisexual. And I think that is a load of rubbish. It's a load of rubbish because the experiences that bisexual people have had as queer people is the same because we've been bullied we've been made to feel that our sexuality isn't valid and there's actually some bi erasure and biphobic things that come from gay people so just because someone's gay doesn't mean that they can't be biphobic and i think that's really important to remember but ultimately define who you are based on how you feel 
I don't think we need to be worrying about what other people are saying about us because honey, I'm me, my experience is mine as a bisexual man, as a queer man, so no one can tell me it's not valid, you know? We've got to validate ourselves. Let this dry a bit, off camera, and then I'll come back and wash it off and answer more questions. Okay, so as you can see, my face is extremely dry and it feels very tight. So this is definitely getting ready to come off. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm a little bit shook. Um, this is my face post mask. Um, it feels really smooth, it actually feels really nice. It, it did well. Last question we're gonna answer and it's a very important question. How do you deal with sexualizing by stereotypes? E.g. threesome jokes, I get them a lot. I think bisexual women definitely get this more where by their sexuality is seen as something that's attractive or a turn on which is really gross and weird and I don't know why society is like that whereas I feel like with men there's not as much of sexualizing stereotypes maybe it being like oh you're so promiscuous or you're so greedy actually that's a stereotype that springs to mind or you're just greedy I think that you know, I just remind myself that other people's experience isn't my own experience and ultimately you can say what you want about me but that doesn't actually affect me and what I'm doing. I just see energy instead of someone's gender so let people fantasise, let people sexualise, let them do what they want to do but at the end of the day you're too sexy to give a fuck. So if my sexuality turns you on, great, cool. Because at the end of the day, I'm just being me. I just wanna be me. I'm just being my bi sexy self. And I think on that note, we should end the video. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me and sending in all those questions. I hope that my light and my answers have helped you in some way. My message to end this video is your sexuality doesn't need to change. The only thing that needs to change is the relationship that you have with yourself. Let's love ourselves, let's validate ourselves, and let's let no biphobia or bi erasure or anything that takes away our power have space. Let it not live rent free in our minds. Anyone watching, your sexuality is your greatest gift, it's your greatest power. Let's love ourselves, let's be visibly proud to be bisexual, proud to be ourselves. And yeah, nothing that no one can say can take away your shine. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below what you thought of the video, what your experiences have been, or if you have any more questions. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on that notification bell. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and the work that I do with Come Curious. Please join me and we can continue to create these good vibes where we feel sexually empowered. Okay, if you're bisexual or this material about bisexuality and sexuality has helped you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am going to be launching a new series where we talk all about different aspects of being bisexual. And yeah, I'm not going to say what it's called, but subscribe and stay tuned because it's dropping very, very soon. I appreciate you so much for watching this video. I love you so much. I'm sending you all the love. Thank you. If I answered your question in the video, thank you so much for sending it in. Sending you all the love and yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. That's a wrap, guys. Woo! Yeah, okay, cool. Woo!